I, I love sharing this one because it reminds you that the Spirit does talk to you. The Spirit uh, does tell you to do things. And what's nice is it kind of shows the results of what ha happened. Or, yeah, it shows... Okay, well, I'll just tell it, and I'll let you interpret it. So, I was with my second comp. This was still my first area in Saltillo. And uh, all of our appointments had fallen through. It was just another one of those days. Uh, nothing was going well. And uh, we, were, we were kind of arguing as well, and we had just barely walked out of a kind of a contentious lesson, unfortunately. Don't do that. Don't, don't fight. That's not good. Uh... We decided to go to the top of one of the hills in our area and uh, just say a quick prayer to uh, to know what we should do, where we should go. And after we said our prayer, I remembered a referral that we had received. Uh, the reason we hadn't yet contacted it was because it was very far out of the way, in fact, probably out of our area, but we decided to go anyway. And so we went and uh, we get to the edge of the area and we find out, yeah, the referral is outside the area. So we're like, crap, we can't even uh, go contact this referral. Uh, and by then it, it's late it was like uh, around 8 o'clock and we were pretty far from home so we decided we should just start walking back and so we walked down the street a ways and I look to my right and I see this dark alleyway and I feel something tell me go go down that alleyway but I'm like it's a dark alleyway that doesn't sound like a good idea however my comp said the same thing he's like hey let's go down here and I'm like okay alright let's go and so we go down, we walk uh, a couple uh, hundred yards, and we hit a dead end. <laughs> and I'm like, great, but why, why on earth did we come down here? We're going to have to go all the way around. Uh, but uh, then I got an impression that we needed to knock a door there. Uh, but again, I thought, no, it's late. We need, to, we need to keep going. We need to get home. But then my comp said, let's knock this door. And I was like, okay. And so we knocked the door. The very nice lady answered, and uh, she uh, she didn't seem like she was that interested. But she was like, "I I think my neighbors they're I think they're I think they're members of your church." And that surprised me because I had been in the area for quite a while, and I felt like I knew the list backward and forward, and so I I wasn't very I wasn't aware at all of anybody who lived in that area. Uh, well, in that uh, sorry, in that neighborhood that we were in, uh, and so we knocked the door. And I, my sister answered the door, and she was super pleased to see us. She let us right in, and uh, she said she'd been active for years, but that, that very morning she had prayed that missionaries would arrive at her door that day, and uh, there we were. And I know that if neither of us had listened to those spiritual promptings, we wouldn't have been able to find her. Uh, and so again, my lesson for that would be listen to those spiritual promptings. I, again, I'm glad I had that. Because uh, it showed like what would have happened had I had we not followed, we just wouldn't have found her. You know, a lot of times you tend to get a, a kind of a spiritual impression, but you ignore it and you don't really know the results of it. But that time the results were were obvious. Uh, so fortunately, my comp was listening, and we were able to bless somebody's life and help them come back to church.